everyone, my name is Evertbrain and today we are talking about 3D integration in Storyboard Pro. Now you'll have to excuse my raspy voice, I was sick last week, but I'm doing fine now, don't worry. And uh, yeah, so let's get to the tutorial. So as some of you might know, uh, this month is February, or as we call it in the industry, February. So I'm going to be dedicating the whole month of February to storyboarding on my channel. Here I have a 3D model, you can get it for free on my Discord, so you can hop on there and go download it. It's a very nice model that was made by two amazing artists that I'm gonna put into the description below. And one of them modeled it, the other one spent the time to go object by object and give them little material and color, which is great because the software is able to understand it. So of course it's not gonna understand complicated textures and materials, but if you give it like, uh, for Maya it's Lambert, so if you give them Lambert of different colors, then it's easy to just differentiate different objects. I, I think it just makes it a bit simpler to work with versus the full gray uh, models, but um, you know, both of them works. So that's the tavern model that you can get, and this is what I'm going to use today for a video. So what we're going to see today is how to import your files in Storyboard Pro, how to navigate them, and how to do a little trick that is pretty cool. So I can go here, and if I want a poster to be there, I can just click, and I'll be able to draw a poster in my uh, tavern. Right, so then I'll be able to take it and I'll be able to stick it on the wall. Now it's sticking on that wall, but if I keep moving it, it's just gonna stick to any surface uh, that I want, which is great. So first, what I'm gonna do is just create a new scene. So to do that, pretty simple. You just go here and you press new scene. Now we're gonna go get our 3D model. So how do we import a 3D model in Storyboard Pro? It's a bit different than Harmony, so you don't go in File, Import, 3D, right? It's not gonna be there. What you actually need to do is get them from your library. So I'm gonna go here to my 3D folder and my models will be here. So what is that folder? It's a folder on my computer that I can read with the library. If you don't know how to use the library view, I have a Harmony tutorial about it. So just go follow this. And then what I have in my computer is I have my files. Oh, look, it's the super. <laughs> and in my rig folder, I have my 3D folder with my models. So this is exactly what I'm reading here. Okay, so to import your 3D models into Starboard Pro, you need to have them on your computer. And then you just go open your folder and then you import your models. To import your model, pretty darn complicated, okay, okay? You click on the model, you drag it, and you drop it in your camera view or your stage view. And then you're gonna get this window. It's gonna ask you, do you wanna use it as a 3D model or as a render to 2D? Uh, render to 2D is really simple. Basically, you click here, and then it's gonna give you this window. It's exactly as if you were um, working in a 3D software and just taking a screen cap. But you don't need a 3D software to take the screen cap because Turbo Pro can do it itself. And uh, then you can control the focal if you want. It's very, very useful to use your fix as like BGs that you can trace over. Uh, you can use these navigation numbers like to navigate your model or you can go inside the window here, press space and drag to move around. You can use this slider to zoom in and out. It's not actually zooming in and out, it's more like panning in and out, but you get the picture. And then if you want to rotate your little camera around, you can press on Control shift and just move around like that. And then when you are satisfied with the angle that you have, you can click on the render the scene and then you'll get an image of your 3D model. If you're not satisfied with this view, you can always right click, go to update model position and just redo the same thing you just did, but just maybe change the angle, press render the scene, and there you go, you have an image. It's very simple. What are the advantages of using an image over 3D? It's that you can like lower the opacity really simple. Uh, it doesn't make your scene 3D, so it's lighter. And if you want to trace over it, honestly, it's just easier to trace from um, a picture that is uh, 2D because then nothing is going to clip through. It's going to be just easier to just trace over uh, your 3D. And uh, now we're going to do the actual 3D. So I'm going to delete this uh, panel and make another one. Then I'm going to take the same 3D model, but instead of going 2D, I'm going to go 3D. So I'm going to press here, use as a 3D model, and then I'm going to have it in my seat. So in my camera view, it's going to look weird, okay? so. Usually for 3D, you will prefer to handle them from the stage view. Um, the difference between the camera and the stage view is that the stage view is, is like seeing your live action movie set from a distance. And the camera is what the camera sees. So here it would be like where you put your background, your lights and whatever. And here you have what your camera sees. <laughs> but that's not really important. What I want to show is how to navigate the stage view. So to navigate the stage view, uh, you can it's, it's exactly like the render the 2D window. You can press space to drag around. You can uh, zoom in and out with the wheel or one and two on your mouse. If you want to reset to see what your camera actually sees, uh, you can press on one of these buttons here. You have to reset everything or reset just the rotation and stuff. And there you see that my model is really big and very hard to navigate. So one of the first thing you want to do usually is click on your 3D layer in your layers. You go uh, here to get the transform tool and you can shrink it. 
shrink it a lot. <laughs> it's gonna usually make the things much simpler to navigate. I'm gonna bring it down so it's closer to my grid. If you don't like the stage view to navigate, remember that you can get your top view and your side view. So it's gonna be a bit easier to navigate now. I'm gonna go back to my camera view and you see, aha, it's already better. So then you have two choices. Either you move your camera around, which I don't recommend, or you move the 3D background around, which I do recommend, just because it's gonna make it easier in the long run. So usually I like to set roughly what my 3D uh, scene will be. So that's my start. After that, if I wanna get a camera movement in there, I will do it after. So usually I move my 3D model first to set it in action. And then if I need to move the camera around, I'm gonna move the camera, right? I'm not gonna animate my background rotating because this is crazy. Uh, so if this is what I want, it's fine. And then if you want to move something within your 3D model, that is also possible. So if you don't like that mug or that barrel or something, uh, all you have to do is press on control and click on one object and then you'll be able to move that object around and just get rid of it if you don't want it. Or if you want to reorganize a bunch of things, you can do that. Um, it's pretty simple. So just press on control or command on a Mac. Now there's much more you can do with 3D. I'm just scraping the surface here. But if you're curious, you can always go to the menu here and you can find the 3D graph. This is like the outliner in Maya. And you can do much more operations from there, like disabled uh, some objects, you can hide them. You can separate it and subtree and sub-objects. This is not where I'm gonna go today. I'm gonna keep it simple, but maybe for a future video. And then the last trick I promised that I would show you is how to add a drawing to draw over your 3D. Mm -hmm. If you wanna create a layer on your 3D, super simple, you click here. There's a button called Create Layer on Surface. I'm gonna click it. I'm gonna go put something on the wall here. I clicked it. Now, if I draw, because I'm in my camera view, I'm always gonna draw like facing the camera. So I can draw my poster if I want to, but it's gonna clip through the wall. Do not worry. This is because my wall is in an angle and my poster is flat uh, facing my camera. Uh, then to make it stick to the wall, super easy. You just click on it with your transform tool. And to move it, I do recommend though that it's a full um, image just because otherwise it's hard to click on exactly the line. So I'm just gonna go in my tool properties, get the draw behind and the autofill brushes and just make a little mask behind it. It's just gonna make it easier to select. There you go. And then like I said, you click on your transform tool, you go get your layer and then you go here. There's a thing called snap to 3D surface. So if you have this activated and then you move your 3D model, I'm just gonna click here. It's always gonna try to stick to the surfaces. So <laughs> I can make it go fall down the stairs. But um, yeah, so that's how you would do it. Or if you want to add a map on the table, you can just do that and have it on the table. And then, you know, you can just start from there and move it uh, using the different like rotation thingies or whatnot. Yeah, so that's how you move something in your 3D environment. And then once it's placed and you want to keep drawing on it, because now it's not possible, that's because it's in an angle and you're gonna draw in an angle, it doesn't make sense. So all you have to do is go to your stage view, click on your layer, and then you want to click on this button it's called look at selected. It's gonna put your camera exactly face to your drawing. And then of course I have a pillar in the way, but if you zoom in, then I'll be able to draw whatever I want on my panel. Reward. <laughs> to catch this man. With a big nose. <laughs> a luma. Yeah, so that's how you would draw and work with 3D and stuff. I hope that you enjoyed and I'll see you again in the next video. Bye-bye. Qu'est-ce que tu fais, Fifi 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 Fifi